Hey, I'm Anastasia, and this is Anastasia's Hump Day Happenings. April is also National Facial Protection Month. Now, this is for kids playing any type of contact sports. Parents, coaches, this is a great way to unite. Any type of contact sports can either injure the face, we call oral facial injuries, or obviously the teeth. The face being the upper lip, lower lip, um, the jaw and the teeth, generally it's going to be your two front teeth. Um, up top we call maxillary incisors. Now here's what you need to know. The ages between 7 and 11, they are more susceptible to oral facial injuries or injuries obviously with your teeth, your tooth being knocked out. Here's what you need to know. You need a mouth guard. You'd be surprised at how many sports require this and even if they're not and they're riding their bike, it's important to think about. All right, three types custom. A custom one is where we take an impression and it's only made for your mouth only. Boil and bite. You can buy these at stores, throw them into some hot water, your child bites on them, they're a little bit more comfortable. And then third is stock or commercial. You can buy these two over the counter in sports stores. You know, they're not comfortable at all. So the first two I would recommend, custom. Only do the custom if your child has a permanent dentition. And I mean, all the baby teeth are gone. This way, you're getting your best investment because they are the most expensive. Boil and bite, you're probably gonna go through a couple of those, but you know, until they get the permanent dentition in, that's gonna be your better option. Parents, please think about protecting your child's smile. The reason for this, did you know that every single year, in addition, sports-related injuries, including oral facial, rank up to about $1.8 billion a year. Dental-wise, you may think, what does that cost? If your tooth is out, you may need a dental implant. If your tooth gets traumatized at some time, you might need a root canal. And you look at a crown after that. I mean, it's a lot of time, let alone the hours a parent may lose at work taking their child to the dental office or the kids lose learning in school. So think about that option when we could have just given them a mouth guard and then their teeth would be protected. Anyway, this is great building relationships between the community, sports, our future athletes, and their smiles. So I hope this gives you a little insight as to what National Facial Protection Month is all about. If you have a question about your smile or oral health, please write it right down here or ask me that question for next week. And until then, take what you learn and make a difference with it.